Keeping your kids happy without spending some serious money can be difficult. Here are some activities you could do with your kids that they'll love without it costing you an arm and a leg. 1. Take your kids on a bug hunt. The great thing about this is you can do it in your garden and at a variety of different locations which can help keep the activity fresh. You could even keep an area of your garden wild to increase the chance of finding something interesting. You could take pictures with a mobile phone and later try and look up what you found, which adds to the educational value of the activity. 2. Among people of a certain age the game spot is legendary and has kept them occupied for many hours at a time. This involves finding a wall and a ball of some sort. The key is that each person gets to take in turns to kick the ball against the wall. If they don't hit the wall with the ball, or touch it twice, they get a letter. S, P, O and T. Once they have all four, they are out, and the winner is the last one left. Generally, there are three major tactics in the game. To either blast it against the wall, leaving the next player to either shoot from a long distance, or try to hit the ball while it's moving, or to kick it really gently to have it rest very close to the wall, increasing the chance of the next player touching it twice, and finally to kick it at an angle that makes it more difficult for the next player. 3. We all get junk mail, leaflets and pamphlets delivered to our houses. Why not save them and use them to make paper aeroplanes? You can try selection of sizes, materials, thicknesses and designs, and find different places to fly them. Why not do a search on the internet for different design tweaks? You can always make it competitive to see who can fly one the furthest, which one flies in the most attractive way, or which one does the most tricks. 4. Catch is an age old game and there's a really good reason for that. It's great fun, especially for kids. There are a variety of ways you can play, from using different things to catch to doing it in different ways. I recommend throwing a tennis ball vertically up into the air. Starting from a low level which is easy to catch, gradually throw it higher and higher. Before you know it your kids will be running around trying to figure out where the ball is going to come down and then rolling around on the floor as they attempt to reach it. 5. Collect a selection of rubbish that you can use to make musical instruments with. From using containers for shakers, to using strings and rubber bands to create instruments that can be twanged, to making drum kits out of boxes and tins. Your kids will not only enjoy making them and expand their creative instincts in the process, but enjoy making music with them afterwards. If you have any great ideas for cheap activities to do with kids, please leave them in the comments. They may be really useful for someone. Thanks for watching and please feel free to like, share, subscribe, comment and watch my other videos.